welcome back to another episode in the Building Boss of Baseline series. And as you can see, I'm back here once again with my upright bass. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Simmer, Simmer, Simmer. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the Joe Henderson classic, Recorder Me. This is one of my personal favorite bossa tunes to play. The chord changes are simple and easy to learn which means you can focus more on your own creativity and less about which chord comes next in the progression. This is also a great tune to work on those 2-5-1 chord progressions. Let's take a look at the form. Record a me is a very simple tune. It has a 16 bar repeating form that cycles through five different key centers. The form starts off in the key of A minor, which is related to C major, which has no sharps or flats in the key signature. We begin with four bars of A minor seven. Plenty of space for creative bass lines. This is followed by three bars of C minor seven with an F7 tagged on to the end to bring us into the second of five key centers. We now cycle through the remaining three key centers in quick succession with two fives setting up each new key change. Finally, an E7 altered chord brings us back to the starting key of A minor and the top of the form. This is why I love this tune so much. The progression is so simple and straightforward, making it not only easy to play, and to memorize for that matter, but also from an audience perspective, easy to listen to. The exercises in this lesson will focus on playing less notes in general. So often we get caught up in what we're playing that we forget to listen to what the other members in the band are playing around us. The first exercise uses root notes and space. The second exercise introduces the fifths, as well as small variations in the rhythm of the line. Once again, try not to play too much.
exercise three outlines the chord changes as usual, but with small melodic phrases interjected here and there. Broken record again. Try not to play too complicated here. Less is more. That's all we have time for in this lesson. To wrap up, it's important to be aware of the big picture when playing in a band. It's not all about you, but about how the group sounds as a whole. And you'll find that when you put aside the fancy bass playing and just lay it down, the rest of the band locks in and sounds amazing. Thanks very much for tuning into this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.